We go morning you guys i'm on base right now so this is day one of the vlog um i can't really talk to you guys too much because i have like four minutes to get inside so i'll catch you guys during my lunch time so it's the end of the day end of the day so i'm heading out now hi guys so it's the end of my i guess work day um and now i'm heading home i've been on base for like the past three days now just doing um makeup drills since i can't do some of the drills because of clinicals and stuff like that um so i was just making clinicals up but now i'm done so now i'm heading back home to kind of rest and get some schoolwork done because while i'm here i didn't really get much schoolwork done because they had to zoom different projects and stuff um but yeah so I think that's pretty much it. So I'll catch you guys in the next Actual clip. drugs. Okay, everybody ready? Take a deep breath because this gets heavy. And again, I'm going to tell you what you need to be really aware of. Okay? Any questions on what we've done so far? Okay, great. So the first class of these cytotoxic drugs, remember that's the overall umbrella, the first class are called alkylating agents. Okay? And what they do hey guys so it's like 3 p.m i just got out of clinicals today's sunday so i haven't vlogged really in a bit um i think the last thing you guys saw was me at the hospital like from like me as a patient at the hospital um so pretty much with that i've been having pain since like tuesday and like my upper stomach and it radiates to my back um that ha yeah so that started tuesday while i was on base um and then they sent me to urgent care that day on wednesday um while i was on base um my labs were kind of high so friday i went to the doctor and then my doctor sent me to the er because he thought it might be like pancreatitis or like this other thing called colicocystitis i might have said that wrong but yeah um so they were just doing tests doing different like um sonograms and um whatchamacallit i was about to say echocardiogram not echocardiogram a ct scan to see what was going on in there um and really they couldn't find nothing they said i might have had pancreatitis earlier in that week but it's like subsiding so they say it might just be constipation if this is tmi i'm sorry but if you're watching this you may be in nursing school right now and a lot of TMI goes on in nursing, okay? So get used to it. If you're not in nursing school and you're just watching this, thank you for watching. Sorry for the TMI, but hey, that's the profession. Anywho, um, so yeah, so that's that. So I'm still kind of in pain right now. Um, more so like in my back right now. Um, the medication that they had me take um, is somewhat helping, like for the stomach part. But like my back, that little part, it hurts it hurts probably when i'm driving it's probably gonna start throbbing but you know i'll be all right i'm strong it's okay um so yeah so at my clinical today my clinical is for um this the one today is for med surge it's supposed to be from 7 a.m to 7 p.m but she let us out early which is great um she let us out at like 2 40 something it's like three basically three o'clock um because pretty much the first half of the day was when there was a, a lot of busy stuff going on um it was like um taking vitals giving um the patients medications um and stuff like that for the most part um my patients were cool there was like what five of them um there was one that i really liked because he was like really talkative and he was just explaining things and you could tell that like he's been through this stuff a lot because he was explaining some medical stuff to me that was like oh, okay you know what you're talking about so yeah um but yeah that's pretty much it so i'm probably just gonna go home now um rest i need to edit this dubai vlog um by the time this video goes out the dubai vlogs should all be out i'm speaking into existence because yeah this past week me not feeling well just messed up the whole thing because i was supposed to have it out this 
this this past week so i'm gonna get it out though i'm gonna get it out so if you haven't watched the dubai vlog it's going to be out before this so go ahead and go watch it. it'll probably be linked at the end of the video um so yeah go ahead and go watch it all right you guys so i will catch you guys later um if not later today then i'll catch you guys tomorrow and then tomorrow um well i don't know how much i can really say i booked a commercial um through my managers so i'm gonna be going to the studio to film the voiceover for that commercial so i'll probably take you guys with me and film what i can without um revealing too much so yeah bye guys Guys, I'm at the studio right now. We just finished um, recording. Twenty one. We hold and we mold this unwavering power of hope. We begin to mend, defend, and reach out as a friend. Every purchase helps Covenant House bring youth homelessness to an end. These horses of hope promise change and connect the range between unity and community. Just look at the scope, the power of hope for everyone. Briar's Horse of the Year 2021. Give hope, get hope. Bonjour, je m'appelle Vika Love. Je... Do you want to do bonjour instead of Sunny? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Whatever comes bonsoir. out. Bonsoir. Well, my mom said bonsoir. I'll say Sunny. Yeah. I like Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> okay. Répétez. Oh, oh. Faire a couple times. Combien? Options. Faire trois fois. Okay. <laughs> okay. Salut, je m'appelle Vika Love. Je suis. Salut, je m'appelle Vika Love, je suis 5 pieds 4 et je suis de New York. Hi, my name is Vika Love, I am 5'4 and I'm from New York. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Janelle, it was so good to work out that, girl. Damn. It shouldn't be taking this long. a couple days later um i feel like i'm doing really bad on this vlogging thing this this week but it's a couple days later i think the last time i vlogged was when i had clinicals on thursday for um mental health um that clinical went fine um it was different because all we did was really talk to the patients but it was cool overall um so today's saturday um and i'm about to go to the spa with my bae's hi bae hello's <laughs> um so yeah just like i guess like a self care kind of day somewhat but i still have got to do like school because i have a lot to do and i'm stressed guys and frustrated with all this work that they got me doing it's really annoying um like i i really wish my school had like a part-time program because it's a lot and with me not feeling well this past week and the doing makeup drills for the military i just feel like i'm behind in a lot of stuff so it's making it more overwhelming for me so <laughs> yo you always do that <laughs> you always do that <laughs> um, i thought he was about to hit a car guys anywho yeah so it's just been like overwhelming for me and frustrating and i feel like if my school had a part-time program i'd have been i you know because it'd be less the work like the less it'd still be a lot of work but it'd be less you know um i just feel like they just keep adding on work like the clinical professor just added on this paper that we had to do 
with this other like little presentation thing that we have to do and i'm like why are we having to do all of this when it's just a pass or fail type of class like i'd rather just have to do a concept map for that mental health clinical and that's it but like so yes yeah, so i'm just frustrated um hopefully this um little spa day will help um or spa hours will help because that's what i have to get back and do a whole bunch of work i gotta study for an EKG quiz. It was supposed to be Friday, but the professor um, let, is letting me do it on Monday instead because I was telling her what had happened uh, with me being in a hospital and all that stuff. Stop um, driving. You got a vlog to do. <laughs> you over here looking when I'm turning. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, um, what was the last thing I said to y'all? See? Leave me alone. About the Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Um, but yeah, she's letting me read the book because I told her I was in the hospital and she was saying if like my pain continues, just let her know. Um, so like I was in pain up until like closer, I think until like Thursday really was when the pain kind of decided it wanted to stop because all throughout, like when I went um, to my clinicals earlier in the week for med search, I was in pain when I went to do the commercial thing in the city. I was still in pain, so it really didn't fully stop until around Thursday. So, like, right now, I feel good. I feel fine. Um, I'll probably still do, like, a follow-up with my doctor. But, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, I guess I'll catch you guys when I get to the spa. Um, pray for me with this school stuff, because I'm just stressed and overwhelmed. And I don't want to do this no more, okay? All right, guys. Hey my loves, so we just came back to the car, we finished getting our facials. Um, this is the first time I ever got a facial. I was nervous just because I don't want my skin to break out because I have good skin. Um, even the facial person said that. What, what do you call them? I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't well, do facials. I, so you might not know what my, they were called. This is my first time too. Oh, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like my skin, it feels extra smooth right now. Maybe a slightly bit lighter. Um, but yeah, the lady that did my my face she was saying how like i have good skin which i already knew but like i said i was nervous because i don't want to break out because anybody got time for that okay so this is how i look this is how babe looks it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> just mad dry right how was uh, your facial experience it was an experience <laughs> my experience is if you got clean clear skin you don't need this shit yeah, um, it was cool, but I feel like the next time I go to the spa, I'm gonna get me a massage. Cause we supported my cousin. Yeah, we, That's what we came did. to support his cousin who works here, so it was cool. It was cool, so whatever. But yeah, next time I come to a spa, I'm getting I'm getting a massage because I need a massage. Yeah, I need to let loose. That's yeah, what I need needed. to let loose the stress, okay? Cause I have a lot of stress <clears> going on, but. Yeah, so now we're just going to get something to eat. Probably some Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Yes, Chick-fil-A. Some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then we're going to head back home. And then I'm going to have to head back to doing the schoolwork. Which I don't want to do, but I have to do. Because, like I said before earlier, I'm behind. And Oof. Yeah. Sorry. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.